Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats, and today we have possibly the scariest product we have ever reviewed. Yeah, about two or three years ago, I remember we did a video called Gen Z mm -hmm. Tries uh, Canned Meat, mm -hmm. and out of all the canned meat that we had them try, the corned beef was the one that was really scary. I believe that one was from Libby's maybe. Maybe. And that was scary. And uh, actually maybe it might have been Brazil or something like that. Mm. Yeah, it was very scary, right? And now we got to try it. And this is something that um, people have actually told us is good. What is it? This is the Palm Corned Beef with Juices product of New Zealand. This is an 11 and a half ounce can of it. This was almost $6. And I think that that might be actually the most expensive corned beef that we've tried. Cause we've tried a few and we actually did a whole corned beef hash week. So, you know, corned beef can be good, but this, this looks scary because there is a lot of what looks to be non-meat bits in here. So what is the ingredients in this thing? Well, it is just beef, water, salt, and sodium nitrate, however. So not, you know, it doesn't sound too scary, but then when you look at the actual product, man, this stuff is like scary looking. So we got one here that is uncooked, which is, uh, I think you can tell which one is uncooked. And then uh, the one that's cooked, cause we were like, you know what? We're not gonna eat this. After we saw this, I was like, mm -hmm. no, I am not eating this uncooked because... Well, um, just to clarify also though, by cooked we mean heated up in the skillet because technically this is a cooked meat product. Yeah. But you can eat it out of the can like unheated or you can heat it up. So we're only gonna eat the heated up one. Because this thing looks scary. But people tell us this is the best one out there. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Look at this. This is, that's not meat. That's something else entirely. And then there's this one. That looks scary. This I don't even want to mess with portion. that. Oh no, I, listen, I ain't gonna eat this part. I Let's go for to. it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. Look, you know what our score is gonna be, right? We will never buy this. I'm gonna guess, cause I don't think you like it, but here's the thing. For me, this thing is like very salty. It does taste like beef. It reminded me of beef jerky, hmm. the same taste. The thing is though, there's also like a lot hmm. of fatty, fattiness in this thing. It's just really gross. Um, thank goodness for the hmm. salt, because I think that really helps with the grossness because there's a lot of salt in this man this is like very like you know i think a lot of people who never have tried something like this are probably thinking like corned beef hash right mm -hmm. which i i like that mm -hmm. i like that at the restaurant but this this is nasty and the thing about this product is like when you buy this dude you're gonna have to navigate and put a lot of effort into getting around all this like funky like pieces in here, right? It's not worth the hassle. Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. <clears throat> For me, this one is obviously going to be a thumbs down. This is flat out disgusting. And just to, to kind of cover our bases here, I'm sure there will be some people being like, you know you don't like it, why would you bother to review it? Because there's been plenty of things that we thought we would hate and we actually end up really liking them. Right. The only way to find out if you might like something new is to try it. So we're willing to do that. And after trying this, now I understand why Australia wanted no part of New Zealand. Well, I was gonna say this tastes like something that uh, an island of people that were isolated from the rest of the world would produce because this is, it's gross and honestly that like we've tried a lot of canned meats and there is oftentimes some hinky bits in there never in my life have i seen this many and this large amount like large pieces of the hinky bits and also it, i find it very disturbing because you said that you know you have to like navigate around i know that there are people out there who do not navigate around they eat it and i you know what more power to you, but I think that that's absolutely disgusting. And to the meat itself, 
It is a lot like jerky. I do feel like by preparing it in the skillet, it did make it a little bit less moist, but in a good way, because this, this unheated up part was very weird in texture, but you know, heating it up helped it. But at the same time, I felt like the oiliness of it and the taste of the oil was really disgusting. Like it tasted like rancid oil. And I looked on the label to see like what oil they put in there. And then I realized it's just the beef fat. And I've never tasted beef fat that is that gross tasting. And this is two and a half years out of being expired. So there, there's, it's far from its expiration date. So that's not the issue. But this is, it's like, if this is your quality of like one of the better corned beefs, I really have to question. I, I have to question that because also, I don't know if you noticed, but this part right here of the unheated up part, honestly, this, this part where there's a whole bunch of like white kind of knobbly bits over here, it looks like an STD and I just find this whole thing to be disgusting. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.